Welcome back to another episode of Warren Cali. In this episode, I'm going to detail the story of Little Scooby from Rolling 60 Crip. Little Scooby would be born around 1976, which the Rolling 60s were already formed. His life will be centered around growing up in the Rolling 60s turf and continuing the legacy with the OGs set for him and his generation. The Rolling 60 Crips are one of the most known gangs in the country today. The Rolling 60s will start on the west side of South Central in the 70s, being one of several gangs who broke off from the original West Side Crips. The 60s would become one of the largest gangs in Los Angeles and also the United States, with the 60s expanding to other cities and other states by the 80s. Little Scooby would be affiliated with the Rolling 60s by the 90s, and he died full on in the street life. His first arrest was vandalism on March 15, 1990, at the age of 14. In 94, as an adult, he was convicted of a robbery with a gun. In 2002, he was convicted for being a gang member in possession of a gun, and he had a history of going to jail by this time. And even in 2003, he'd be mentioned as a name in the Rolling 60 gang injunction, among many factors of the gang, and serious members were mentioned in that injunction. By that time, it had been several years since Little Scooby had first been shot and put in a wheelchair. Even from a wheelchair, he was an active gang member. That wheelchair didn't stop his gangster lifestyle, and his chair was often equipped with an AK-47, a Rolling 60 source would say. Officer Jeffrey Martin would state that there were only a few like him out there in the streets that were pushing the line and demanding that the game be ran right. But several years later, Little Scooby would meet his demise. March 28th, 2014, in the 6800 block of 11th Avenue in High Park, according to Los Angeles County Coroner's records, shortly before 2 p.m., Little Scooby was sitting in a wheelchair with a black man in his late 30s walked up and began talking to Little Scooby. They spoke for about five minutes before the man pulled out a gun and shot Little Scooby multiple times. LAPD said investigators believe the two knew each other. Little Scooby was taken to a hospital where he was pronounced dead at 3.06 p.m. A source would indicate that Scooby's death may have been a part of a long-standing internal conflict among the Rolling 60s, which was one of the largest street gangs in California. One of the homies put him in that wheelchair and one of the homies put him in that grave, a man from Rolling 60s would say. The Rolling 60s have been known to have a lot of conflict and internal beef with each other. And that's still going on to this day with the social media presence as you see a lot of 60s beefing within the game. Rolling 60 members have died from wars with other gangs but for several decades. Several members have died from internal beef and this has been going on for a while. And to the broader media, internal problems have caused people like Nipsey Hussle their lives. But we all heard the saying that's been put out in the media for years that you're not a 60 till you kill one. This will conclude this episode if you haven't already. Make sure you check out my previous episodes. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.